G7CNF. Today I'm going to take a look at the Comet CHA250B broadband vertical antenna. This antenna is marketed as a no tuners required antenna for 3.5 to 57 megahertz on a continuous range and a receive of 2 to 90 megahertz. SWR is reported as less than 1.5 to 1 across the range. The antenna is uh, 7.1 meters in length approximately and uh, is effectively a broadband vertical. The reviews on EHAM are diametric to say the least. People either love this antenna or they hate it. I must confess that I had one a couple of years ago and uh, I was one who put 0 out of 5 and uh, was intensely disappointed with its performance having tried it in a number of locations. Going back to eHarm today, I note that they have pulled my 0 out of 5 review. And that is what has precipitated this demonstration. The video today is a straightforward A-B test with a twist. We're going to look at the CHA250 compared with a cobweb antenna, which is a half-wave folded dipole on five bands. And we're going to do with this with my Flex 5000, which has a second receiver fitted. This will allow us to observe in real time any differences in performance between the two antennas. The test today will be limited by the prevailing band conditions and the time of day, which means that currently 20 metres and 17 metres are open. Uh, 15 metres is very borderline and the other bands are currently not open. Both of the receivers are identical and in order to demonstrate this I've connected them both to the same antenna, the cobweb. The signal meter for RX1 is at the top right hand side of the console. The spectrum display for RX1 is the top. Similarly the signal meter for RX2 is in the bottom right hand corner and needless to say RX2 spectrum display is the second. I'm now going to switch antennas so that the CHA250 is connected to RX2, the bottom spectrum display. The mute and volume control for RX2 are in the bottom left hand corner. Similarly the volume control for RX1 is just above it. For now the default condition will be RX2 audible and RX1 muted. Let's take a look at the PSK frequency. As you can see, arithmetically, there is something in the order of 23-24 decibels between the signal coming in on the cobweb and the signal coming in from the CHA250. Needless to say, at any given instant, the magnitude of signal present in either receiver will be a product of ionospheric reflection, multipath, and polarization skew. So what we are looking for here is a trend. Moving up into the phone back part of the band, the difference between the CHA250 and the cobweb is eerily rather like the difference between a dead or marginal band and one which is open. So if I mute RX2 and That's listen the momentarily to the incoming transmissions on RX1. The expedition to Echo Uniform 140 and we were only using... So no, uh, no verticals, uh, no uh, medium antennas, only two uh, wire antennas. Uh, the other was uh, dipole. What's your name? Your name, over. Are you still there? Tell me, what's your name? Your name, over. Okay, the name here is Eric. Echo Radio India Charlie. Again, it's Eric. E okay, whiskey, what? Coming out of space. 
Okay, cheer and all the best. Seven. Okay, good morning to you. For me, good evening. Bye-bye. I saw about air and also otherwise. Seven three, sir. Uh, uh, nine America two, Whiskey Tokyo, OH one, uh, Cheo. Yeah, Roger, Oscar, zero one, Japan, Alpha, nine Alpha, two, Whiskey Tokyo. Thank you very much for the information, Larry. Thank you very much, I really do, and I really, and I really So let's move to 17 meters and take a look there. Seven three, Alpha, Alpha, Now if we take a quick look at 15 meters, which is marginal. Papa calling CQ, calling CQDX. Yes, a bit of Papa, a Lima Papa calling, I'm listening over. Hello, CQ, hello, CQDX. 